Take Highway Patrol. A 7 year old veteran was headed south when he crossed the farm line, the from behind. He signed a young couple and their four month old baby girl. An Amish man who lives across the street from the accident scene did not want to be identified, but spoke to the courageous actions he witnessed an injured mother desperate to save her child. The thing that amazed me it was a typical mother. She crawled out from underneath the buggy, and the baby was laying in a ditch, and she actually went over and picked the baby out of the ditch. And here she was bleeding. Now, when the accident happened, the infant was actually thrown from the buggy here into a ditch along the side of the road. It sounds horrendous, but the neighbor tells me he believes that may have actually saved the baby's life. Throwing toward the ditch, it had a soft landing and stuff, and I think it was better off that way than if it would have been restrained in the buggy. The neighbor admits it could have been worse, but this wreckage is a frightening reminder, he says, even for his own family, of the risk they take every day out on the road. It is a very vulnerable situation because you you can be in that buggy in a split second, a car hits a buggy, you just don't have no much chance in the buggy. In Geauga County, Autumn Ziemba. Fox 8 News. While well, the baby tonight is in stable condition, charges against the driver are pending, but alcohol and excessive speed have been ruled out as fact. A Cleveland councilman is concerned about the violence on the city streets and is calling for action. Councilman Zach Reed talked with our I-team reporter Peggy Sinkovich about his concerns. It's been a busy nine months for Cleveland homicide detectives. So far this year, the city has investigated 68 murders, 10 more from this time last year. It's not kind of like a war zone. It is a war zone. There's no offense or buts about it. In certain neighborhoods, it's, it's, you're almost fearful to go out in that, in that particular community. And many living near the 4th District Police Station agree, including 20-year-old Fred Tucker, who says he has seen his share of violence. I've been seeing a whole lot of cops and Gang, you know, as far as uh, shooting-wise and all this, I, I have seen a whole lot so far. It's been a whole lot. It's, it's just really bad. They really like to do something about the situation. Councilman Reed says he believes city officials need to begin having discussions to find a way to reduce the amount of deadly shootings. Police and city officials tell me that crime has been reduced down here in the downtown area because there are more police on the streets, and that's why they would like to have more officers in the neighborhood areas. Why can't we protect more? Why can't we put the uh, technology and uh, boots on the ground in neighborhoods where people live here 365 days a year? A police union official says he believes more officers should be hired. Well, there is a decrease in uh, officers on the street because of state and city uh, budget cuts. Uh, it's a de decrease in the cars out in the uh, neighborhoods. Uh, and it's an officer safety concern and also to the citizens. You know, we. City of Cleveland's getting busy and we need more officers out there. In Cleveland, Peggy Sinkovich, Fox 8, I Team. Looks like former Browns owner Art Modell will be honored at this Sunday's game. The league sent out a memo to all teams directing them to honor Modell in an appropriate manner. And Browns spokesman Neil Gulkas was quoted by the Cleveland Plain Dealers, Mary Kay Cabot, that the team would do something to honor Modell, although it's not clear exactly what that will be. Art Modell passed away yesterday at the age of 87. Well, the U.S. Department of Education has named 269 schools nationwide as Blue Ribbon schools. Only four are in Ohio and they're all in Northeast Ohio. They are St. Dominic Parish School in Shaker Heights, seen here, as well as Holy Family Parish School in Stowe, Our Lady of the Elms Elementary in Akron, and St. Edward Parish in Ashland. The Diocese of Cleveland says these awards bring to 40, uh, 240 the number of their schools to receive the Blue Ribbon designation in recent years. Congratulations to them all. Well, an officer is seriously injured, and tonight your help is needed. Days after he was hit by a driver who took off, we have an update on his condition and why the family needs your help. Bringing in a new school year gets several college students busted. How it involves a water tower. That's always a concern on the football field, but are some athletes more likely to get a concussion? And does she have the X Factor? Find out which big name could be joining the second season of the singing competition. I'm at Medina Highland High School where they have a huge pig roast and a party before the game. We're going to shoot those highlights. They're playing the North Royalton Bears. Both teams 2 0. It's going to be exciting. We also have highlights from 30 games across Northeast Ohio coming up in just minutes, 11 o'clock, live on Fox 8 News. You don't want to miss it. In just five days,
the television event of the fall season. Sensational. Oh, hey! Absolutely incredible. A star has just walked out on that stage. The X Factor two-night premiere begins this Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Fox. UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital is reminding you to keep everyone safe in the car. Buckle up. At University Hospitals, Rainbow Babies, and Children's Hospital, we understand what only a parent can, that they will do everything in their power for their children. Weather any storm, travel any distance, near or far, defend against any danger. That's why we've spent over a century building the only pediatric hospital with a depth of care above and beyond any other institution. UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. There's only one rainbow. Furniture and mattress shoppers. There's still time to get Levin Furniture's extraordinary Labor Day offer. 50% off furniture, 50% off leather, 50% off Sealy Posturepedic and Luxury Stearns and Foster mattresses. Plus, Levin's pays your interest up to five years or take an additional 10% off all special sale prices. It's the final weekend of the Labor Day sale. Going on now at Levin's. Hi, Mark Leonard. Receive $70 credit towards a new Nikon when you trade in your old camera or cell phone, whether it works or not. The Nikon Coolpix S6100 is a compact camera with a large viewing screen and a 7x zoom lens. Take your old cell phone to any Dodge camera and receive $70 credit towards a Nikon S6100. Go find that older camera, even if it's broken, and receive $70 credit towards a Nikon Coolpix S6100. Dodge camera, where the focus is on you. There's a certain will to win in Northeast Ohio, a desire to go beyond expectations and be the best. We know a car company just like that, a company that goes further with plug-in vehicles like the all-new C-Max Energy and hybrids like the 2013 Fusion Hybrid that gets up to 47 miles per gallon. New vehicles, new technologies, and new choices. Only at your Northeast Ohio Ford dealer. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Mitt Romney's position on women's health, it's dangerous. Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan would get rid of Planned Parenthood funding and allow employers to deny coverage for cancer screenings and birth control. We can't afford to let him take away our choices, to take away basic health care. Both backed proposals to outlaw abortions, even in cases of rape and incest. I don't think that women's health issues have faced a crisis like this in decades. The Cornhuskers look to make a statement on the road, but the Bruins are ready to rise and fire in their home opener. Tomorrow on Fox. With the conventions now and the candidates' rearview mirrors, it's time to move forward. And while President Obama and Mitt Romney are miles apart, as we know, on many major issues, they're very close to the campaign trail today. Fox's Jennifer Davis with the latest now from Washington. A receptive New Hampshire crowd of thousands welcomes the Democratic ticket back to the campaign trail. I've just come from Charlotte, where we had a great convention. But the president also had to weigh in on disappointing new jobs numbers, showing weaker than expected growth in August. We know it's not good enough. We need to create more jobs faster. Mitt Romney pounced on the Morning. poor economic news. Earlier, after the party last night, the hangover today, the jobs numbers were very disappointing. After a week of laying rather low, prepping for debates, Romney came back swinging at a rally in Iowa. If President Obama were re-elected, we would have four more years of the last four years. And in an interview with Fox News, he did not mince words about the president's convention message. Well, I was disappointed with the speech. Um, of course, it's been a disappointing four years. Romney's camp is hoping for a bounce as it launches a major media offensive, releasing 15 new television ads in eight competitive states. And though the president's campaign lags behind in fundraising, Democrats say they're having great success registering new voters, claiming to have signed up more than one million, more than in 2008. Look, I, I am not just asking for your vote. I'm, I'm asking the entire country to rally around a set of goals. The candidates have a busy weekend planned in battleground states. The president kicks off a two-day Florida bus tour, while Romney will rev up support at a NASCAR event in Virginia. In Washington, Jennifer Davis, Fox News.
Jennifer, thank you. The remains of Neil Armstrong will be buried at sea. It's still not known where and when it will happen. A public memorial service for Armstrong is scheduled next week at Washington, D.C.'s Nas National Cathedral. The legendary astronaut died last month due to complications from heart surgery. Armstrong was 82 years old. An incredibly heroic act by a Utah Sheriff's deputy saves the life of a driver and a toddler. A car was moving down the highway with a driver passed out and slumped over the wheel. In the back seat a three-year-old girl. A semi-truck followed the car to ensure uh, no speeding driver ended the unconscious driver and precious cargo inside. A sheriff's deputy was able to reach into an open window, that's what you're watching there, pulling the emergency brake. The driver was taken to the hospital. The little girl, thank goodness, is okay. Oh my goodness. Well, Britain's Prince Harry is now in Afghanistan for a second tour of duty. Prince Harry will serve for four months as a helicopter pilot in Britain's Army Air Corps.